Well, I was looking at some pictures on the web, and uh, I know you can't see it, but there's long flowing hair. It's not short hair. It's long hair up above the uh, front leg, which is there. And uh, the uh, two dew claws have separate tendons that come down to them. And so I'm going to put that in there. i got to be careful. I don't want to uh, have too deep of a... i get that light off. I don't need both lights on right now. It drowns out the shadows and that's really what a sculptor does is creates shadows. I have a, some kind of comb, I think it was a comb of some kind that I bought at the grocery store. And 
I'm not cutting it evenly because I don't want to have even. I want to have random. But I'm going to take some lighter fluid. This is just an idea that just came to me. I've never done this before, so this is the first time for me. I want to transition into the long hair and uh, let the clay soften just a little bit and then just take this not pressing too hard, not trying to make it too uniform, but uh, just working down into it. And then I'll go over it with the uh, brush. Let's do that right now. If I can find my brush. <laughs> the brushes are just a little bit stiff with clay, but I just put a little uh, lighter fluid on it and it gets rid of it real quick. And then I just go over this, uh, taking out any rough and really strong lines and trying to blend them into more of a uh, softer line. Just pour the lighter fluid on the uh, clay. like that effect. And that sort of transitions into the long hair nicely. That's why I kind of smooths off the uh, upper end of the hair. And I take this opportunity to tell you about uh, my instructional inst videos that I've got, both on DVD and on uh, line. And uh, I've got a link right down below this video where you can take a review of each uh, one that I've got offered right now. I think there's nine, but I'm not certain. I think it's nine. But uh, take a look. Uh, this It's what supports me, really, and uh, it makes it a, 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 the ability of me to be able to bring these videos to you uh, a little easier. Now, I'm not making a video on creating a uh, buffalo. That's the only reason I'm showing you the what I'm doing right now. But I might in the future. I think that looks pretty good. That uh, actually does. And I'm just going to hit the head just a little bit here. I like that. I like that. It shows a, a lot of heavy fur down here now better than it was before. It looked too matted. And uh, i got to figure out what I'm going to do on the inside of the leg. Uh, when I get, get around to that, I'll uh, work that out. All sculpting is, is setting yourself a goal. Mine is to make it look like fur. And then trying to uh, figure out a way of doing it. you think this is uh, something you learn in school, it ain't. This is something you train yourself. And that's the nice thing about uh, my uh, videos is, and I'm sorry to keep harping on it, but that's 
it's the truth. I've got 50 years, over 50 years of uh, experience in sculpting where I share my little techniques and shortcuts, saving you a lot of time trying to figure things out if you're just starting out. They make great gifts, the uh, videos, and uh, for people who you know that uh, may be interested in sculpting. Now, they're not probably going to be sculpting a buffalo for certain, but uh, or a cowboy or a mountain man or a, a Native American. But all the stuff that I show in those videos can be done, used in every aspect of sculpting. I'm just checking the muscles of a horse and you know the buffalo and the horse their muscles are going to be basically the same except some will be bigger on the buffalo uh, than they are and it's you know it's a different uh, um, well, conformation but the muscles are going to be about the same and I'm just checking this muscle right here. There are no muscle drawings of a uh, buffalo, as far as I've been able to find. And if there are, it's just very poor drawings. So you just sort of have to go by photographs and, uh, and try to make it look uh, right. It's like everything else uh, in sculpting, uh, you never stop learning, you never stop researching either, no matter what you do. I'm using a uh, heavy duty wire tool with very strong serrated edge. It's not going to be the final texture. I just uh, I'm using this basically to move clay real fast. This is as far as I'm going to take this, and uh, the reason why is because a new gallery is opening up in town, and I've got three bronzes in the gallery, and uh, I will be occasionally sculpting in front of the public in the gallery, and I'd like to have something that I can work on, and uh, this is going to be a dramatic piece to work on, and that would give me time to work on this side. I'm just not going to do that right now. I'm just going to leave it the way it is um, and uh, save the rest for other times. Um, here's what the way this clay looked like just a couple of weeks ago. When I started working on it, it uh, had sat in my studio for 12 years and uh, I mean, I started it in 2004. Oh, wait a minute, that's... Yeah, that's, uh... Yeah, about 14 years. It sat in my studio. And then I took, uh, took it and, uh, 
tried to revive the uh, clay, and I think it, I think I did okay. I'm not unhappy with this. All right, everybody. Till next time. Have a great night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video, and then check out my instructional DVDs. Uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.